Hey everybody, it's uh, Unit 1 back. I've got a new camera. It's a Canon D70. Woo, $1,500 camera. Anyway, um, works really nice. Nice picture. As you can see, uh, I've got my assistant here to help me. And uh, Chris posted a message on my YouTube that he'd like to see the magic eye in check checker in uh, test mode. So uh, the way this little Dealey Bob works, uh, you have a number of levels right here, C1 through C5, which I assume is capacitor. And if you look at them, you'll see C1 is for PF, uh, C2 through C4 is for, uh, gosh, I can't see. Maybe I should have my assistant read it for me. Uh, it says UF, and then C5 says UF2. Um, okay, only a little confusing. If you look up here, you see C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Now, the capacitor I'm testing is uh, supposedly 0.1. And uh, if you look, C1 or C2 is 0 0.0001 through 0 0.005 UF. C4 is 0.1 through 50 UF, and uh, so C4 is the range that fits uh, the capacitor I want to test. So, uh, since I pressed C4, I will need to look at the line that says C4, and when the dial gets to the right spot on the line, with the capacitor, you see is let me turn it up, I'm still not anything, nothing's happening to the magic eye yet. Well, that's because point one is at the very end of this range. So as I get closer and closer you should see something start to happen to that magic eye. Oh, look at that. There's a line there now. And as I get closer and closer the magic eye goes into focus. You know, I think I need to put my glasses back on. There you go. Um, hmm. Okay, it goes right into focus, right there, at the end of the range. Well, let's see, I get to point one, it says it's not quite point one, it's, uh, there it's focused. It goes just about a little bit beyond point one. So, uh, anyway, that's how the magic eye works. It's an analog thing. It's not like a digital checker, that's for sure. Uh, and so, uh, anyway... Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to turn this on. Uh, that... Okay, there, there's a problem. I didn't turn the tester on. <laughs> so, if I go back... I knew there was something wrong. The When you turn this on, it puts a half a volt through the uh, thing. I don't know why it would work at all the other way, but apparently it did. I guess there's enough residual voltage running around inside that is still kind of on the test. But if you want to get it to test accurate, there you go, it's right there. And that's just before point 0.1, so maybe it's like point oh nine nine eight or something like that. Uh, if I go too far, you can see it starts getting blurry again. So if I actually set it to point 0.1, it says, no, that's not it. And there it is, perfectly focused right there, just before point one. So maybe this dial is a little bit off, maybe not. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the view of the back of my head, and this is Unit 1, signing off. Bye.